So yesterday I talked about what makes Mem different than the other note-taking tools out there. And today I wanna to talk about how to create an editorial calendar inside of Mem. If you're a blogger, content creator, podcast host, YouTuber, whatever it is, having an editorial calendar is really important because it actually allows you to create content on a schedule as opposed to creating it whenever you feel like it and allows you to have some semblance of a plan. And that's really important because as I tell my audience, people consume media based on habit and you want your content to be a habit, not an interruption. One example to think of is the TV show Friends, which was on the show for on, on the air for several seasons and you the writers always knew that there was going to be an episode every Thursday at 8 p.m. and as the audience we knew that there was always going to be an episode Thursdays at 8 p.m. Now, if the writers just decided to create things whenever they felt inspired, then the TV show Friends would have never had an audience and that's something really important to think about here. So let's talk about how you actually do this inside of Mem. In most note-taking tools or apps, your editorial calendar ends up being this just jumbled up mess of spreadsheets, trying to figure out the status, trying to figure out where it's at. And the way to think of how to create this in Mem is in terms of categories and Mem. So any individual article or blog post is gonna get an individual Mem. And then for each category or topic or status, you'll wanna use some sort of tag. And one good way to do this is to have metadata for each one of your blog post Mems. So in the case of this uh, blog post here, what we're going to say is, okay, the topic for this is personal knowledge management. And you can see here that I've already got knowledge management tagged. So that's going to be the topic. You'll see it brings up all the sort of related topics as well. For the status, we'll just go ahead and call this first draft. And you can see here, I have another tag under first drafts. So basically what you wanna do is, is have a series of tags for whatever stage the post is at. And so now you basically know that this is part of the editorial calendar. It's a post on knowledge management and it's a first draft. Now let's go actually look at the tag editorial calendar. This is actually where categories come in. So a status is basically what stage this is in. And then your category would be the editorial calendar itself. So in this case, we already have it tagged at the top, so we don't need to do that. But if you put editorial calendar here, so that way it'll basically go into the editorial calendar. You'll know it's a first draft and you'll know what the topic is about. And because it's tagged here, like I said, we don't actually need to do that. So now if you go over to editorial calendar, you can actually see everything that's tagged with an editorial calendar tag. And the nice thing here is you can also figure out what's a first draft, what's just an idea, what's something that needs to be proofread, whatever it is. And you also are able to see what topic everything has. You can see what the topic tag. So if I did that, you know, if I did the search for anything knowledge management that was inside of my editorial calendar, I can actually go back and I can see this list of all the various blog posts that are inside of here that become part of the editorial calendar. So again, not a particularly complicated thing to do. It really is just about having some sort of hierarchy. You can see I have a bunch of different stuff inside, but really creating an editorial calendar inside of Mem is super straightforward. Just by using a few different tags, you're able to do this. I think Mem is really just a fantastic tool for writing for that reason, because of the fact that you can see how all the different ideas connect. So let's say that you're writing a blog post about marketing on Monday, one about attention management on Tuesday, and another one about marketing on Thursday, or whatever it is, you can actually see everything that you've written here that goes into your editorial calendar that you know happens to have the same tags. You can see everything here that is inside of the editorial calendar. I can see under this category. I can also see anything that I wrote about a particular topic if I tag that topic. That way, if you have a group of blog posts, for example, and you wanted to turn those into a free ebook on a particular subject, you'd basically know where all that content is and you could pull that together very easily. So for example, let's just say we open that. The nice thing about that is that it just opens in the sidebar. Or let's say that, for example, I pull this blog post up and I wanna basically start assembling an ebook from all these different blog posts. I can just start pulling content from the various ones very easily. And put them all into one mem that I can later turn into an ebook. So that's how you create an editorial calendar inside of mem. Uh, as I said yesterday, feel free to ask me questions in the comments.